Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to be here with you today to show you my Europe packing list. Yes, that's right. I just returned from Europe about two weeks ago. We went to a niece's wedding in Lucerne, Switzerland. These destination weddings are getting expensive. And on this trip, I took Dylan and Colin, my sons, and Colin's wife and Dylan's girlfriend, and of course, Alan. And here Alan and I are in Paris, one of our first nights there. And here is the whole family, except for me, as I get to take the pictures. Here we are on our first night in Paris. We had a cruise on the Seine River, absolutely wonderful. It was an evening trip, so we got to see the sights of Paris all lit up, including the Eiffel Tower, absolutely sparklingly beautiful. And here the family is walking the streets of Paris, and here we are with our umbrellas, which it rained every day all through Paris and into Switzerland, so do take umbrellas if you go to Europe. And here we are on a garden tour of the Palace of Versailles. And this last picture is Alan and me in Switzerland. Absolutely had a fabulous time. And I'll tell you the easy, casual, inexpensive wardrobe items that I took with me to Europe. And in another video, I'll be showing you travel accessories, which in my opinion are just essentials if you're going to Europe. And if you're not a subscriber and would like to see that video, just click that little bell. Okay, let's get into my travel wardrobe. And I want to preface this by saying that some YouTubers go to Paris and they really want to be all fashioned up, but that really wasn't the case with me. Number one, it wasn't just Alan and I traveling, it was the whole family. And my girls, as you know by those of you who have younger women in the family, they are very casual, they wear a lot of t-shirts, they wear a lot of sweatshirts, they're very comfortable and casual, and I wanted to fit in with that. Plus, this was my first time in Paris and I really wanted to hit the ground running and see all the sights, so comfort was very, very important to me. And I will preface this by saying that with all we spent on the trip, I also wanted my wardrobe to be very inexpensive, and so most of my items are from Gap and Old Navy. And before I get into showing you the wardrobe items specifically, I think it's important when we're packing and trying to pack very concisely that we have a color, a color story in our outfits. And basically, I made it very simple on myself. It was black, gray, white, and variations thereof with splashes of color in scarves. Okay, I'll go in and show you the outfits that I wore. We'll start with the outfit that I wore on the plane. And I just had some simple black jeggings on here. These are from Old Navy, very inexpensive. A chambray shirt. And then I had a scarf. And I'll be telling you a little bit about where I get all the scarves that you're seeing. But that was the first picture there. And in the second picture, as you can see, I also wore my moto jacket because when you're on the plane, it's important to wear your heaviest items, your heaviest shoes, your heaviest jackets, because you really don't want to pack those. And in the second picture, I'll show you my basic formula for this trip. And here we are. And my formula is a very simple pair of dark jeans or pants and a gap tee topped off by a really fancy scarf. And I will say, these are the four scarves that I took with me on my trip and I got all of them at threadup.com, and that is a designer consignment store, and I have a $10 off coupon for both of us. If you go to ThreadUp and find things that you would like to purchase, you save $10, and I also save $10. Before I went on the trip, I went to Dillard's and looked at their scarves, and they were between $50 and $100, and for all these lovely scarves, I think I paid at max about $13. Look at this lovely scarf, absolutely love it. Several of these scarves were from Ann Taylor and they still had the tags on. Okay, getting back to the wardrobe, as you can see in the next picture, I've taken the same basic outfit, added a different scarf and a jean jacket. And then when you're going to Paris, I think one of the essential items for Paris is a moto jacket. And I have a leather one and I also have a pleather one. And I actually got the pleather one from Thread Up. But I decided to take the pleather one on my trip because it was a spring trip and the leather one was too lightweight. Plus, I wanted a lightweight jacket because I did pack this. But here is my basic biker look that I wore in Paris. And again, it's just the white gap tee, the black old navy jeggings, and the meadow jacket that I got from Thread Up. In the next picture, I've taken that same basic outfit and I've just added a little Old Navy zippered sweatshirt. I really did like having that sweatshirt because it was cold and rainy a lot of the time we were there, even though it was May. And in the next picture, I'm actually wearing the same tee I have on now. It's a Gap classic tee in black and white. And here it is. And I've got it paired with Old Navy straight jeans, which are very reasonable in price, have the black and white striped shirt and a fancy kind of navy scarf that kind of sets it off. 
And in the next picture, I have exactly the same outfit on, but I've added the moto jacket. And in the next picture, I've taken the gray and black version of this striped tee from Gap. There it is paired with black Rockstar jeans. Absolutely love those jeans. They're from Old Navy. And in the second picture, I've just added the kind of fancy black and white scarf. And in the next picture, I've used a gray Gap tee as the base. And here we are again with a black Old Navy Rockstar jeans paired with a gray Gap tee and again the black and white scarf. And in the second picture, I've just taken that same basic outfit and thrown on the Old Navy zippered sweatshirt. And in the next picture, I've done an all black look and here it is. It's just a black short sleeve gap tee with the black Old Navy jeggings topped off by a red lip print scarf. And for some reason, I just felt like that looked kind of Paris. And in the next picture there, I just topped it off with a jean jacket. And when you're going to Europe, I think comfort is important and looking good. That's why I added the scarves. But it's also important to just have some comfortable items for those days when you don't feel like dressing up. You just want to throw something comfortable on. And for me, that's always a sweatshirt. And here we are looking at the two sweatshirts that I took. The first is a Calvin Klein logo sweatshirt. And the second is a longer knee length sweatshirt, has a little zipper on the arm there to give it some interest. And I think taking a few sweatshirts is great for those days when you just need comfort. Now it's also important to be able to dress up a little more at dinner. However, most of the outfits I've been showing you so far were very acceptable in the Paris cafes and restaurants. In the next outfit though, I've added a black polyester blouse and here it is. And this is really kind of a little more dressed up look for evenings. And I love polyester because you can wash it and then hang it dry and the next morning it's totally dry, which makes it wonderful for travel. But if you want it to be a little more elegant, you could make that a silk blouse instead. Now on our trip, we went to Paris for the first four days and then we went to Nice and Monaco to see the Formula One car race there. Absolutely wonderful experience. And then we went on to Lucerne, Switzerland for the wedding and it was a formal wedding so I could wear black. And in the next picture, I'll show you the dress that I wore to the wedding. And I really don't like to wear dresses without jeggings. And in the second picture, you can see the dress that I wore to the wedding. Although it does have a lot more detail than you can see. It was kind of a mesh overdress with a little black tank dress beneath. And then I have the black jeggings and heeled boots. And the picture before is super similar, but it just happens to be a form-fitting gap dress that I found. And I really like that one because it gave me a more dressed up option when we were out in the evenings. And in addition to those clothes for that 10 day trip, I of course took 11 pairs of underwear. I don't like washing my underwear in the sink. I like a totally clean pair every day. And just a little tip, these mini pads are wonderful for keeping you feeling fresh and clean. And I took 11 pairs of socks and two pairs of boots, the flat boots that I wore the whole trip basically, and then the heel boots that I wore at the wedding. Okay, that was a look at the items I took on my Europe packing trip. And again, I'm going to be posting another video soon with my travel packing essentials, things like suitcases, carry-ons, and carry-on items. And again, click that bell if you'd like to see that video. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been using this Miracles Now card deck by Gabrielle Bernstein. Absolutely love her books. And I just got this card deck a few days ago. I've used it a couple of times. Okay, let's choose a good one. Here we go. Ooh, this is a good one. The key for getting what you want is to ask for it. The key to getting what you want is to ask for it. Oh friends, it is actually kind of self-evident, but it's so true and it's something I need a reminder of. The key to getting what you want is to ask for it. Sometimes we assume that those around us know exactly what we want, but usually they have no idea quite honestly because they're busier thinking about what they want. So friends, just for today, as we go through our day, let's remember that those around us don't read our minds and that if we want something, we need to ask for it. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.